Art students, Brian Proctor back again, the art teachers in the class, and this is the last class. This is kind of like the last class before summertime. This is the end of the, what is it, the clothes drawing tutorial that took me forever to do, so yeah. And at the end of this, I got you guys a little bonus. I did an action pose position in clothes with the wrinkles to show you what all this was about. So when you finish drawing or learning how to do the wrinkles and the folds and the, the twists and the bends in the fabric, you can go ahead and start drawing your character in action poses and regular poses with the wrinkles the same way I have them here all on my shirt and so forth. So yeah, now you will know what that's all about. All right, let's get into this. And if you watched every one of the series, every one of the videos, then yo, thumbs up to you. All right, let's go and do some last drawing class thing. Yeah. All right, let's get into some legs. We're winding it down now, and we'll get into some of the women. Now, obviously, this is the male leg. This is the female legs, front and back. So, depending on the type of pants you have, let's do jeans real quick. Man, this is, this is, is this the original? Yes, this is the original because I can erase the lines. I photocopied, like, three of each so that I can show you guys more because, as I said in the first video, when I, if somebody asked me, a, uh, a subscriber, I hope you're a subscriber, asked me to draw tight clothes on the character. So as I started to put this together in my head, it more came up and more came up and more came up and it became a huge uh, lesson, which maybe I'll expand it and teach it on another format, the whole thing. But yeah, it got kind of crazy. So let's do the men's pants. Let's bring that down a little bit more because the hips are not jeans. So firstly, jeans are, are tight. If these were like stretch pants, they would obviously fit, but they're, they're not. So let's just bring it off the, off the form a little, down, touching here, and then down again. Same thing here. Off the form a little, back, touching here, and then down a little. Same thing. And it depends on how tight these jeans are. Now, as I stated earlier, when a man's jeans are going to come down, it's going to sit on top of that. It's going to sit on that shoe, be it tennis shoe or whatever. It's going to sit on that. Now, being pushed up, as I said, I'm not going to show you again. It's going to push this one up, which will push that one up, which may push another one up. So you have that V in here. You might have that V in there, and it could go around to the side. depends on how much you choose to do it. So push this one up. I'm going to take it all the way off like that. Push that one up. You have this little V in here. And then it could go around the back of the, the leg if you choose. But that's going to be your wrinkle point. And sometimes you, the further away, the, the less smaller wrinkle you have. So it will start going into the X's, I guess. Especially with jeans. You just have to remember what type of, of uh, wrinkles you want to do. And then with the knees, you have a little wrinkle. Or I keep calling it a wrinkle, but you know what I'm saying. Little folds. Because that's the part that continues to bend. So your X or your, your diamond shape would probably be your best bet for folds in uh, the knees. And then you have your starburst coming out from the thighs. You wanna leave from the gap of the thighs. You wanna, actually wanna leave room. You always wanna leave room for your junk. Coming down, you have this shape here, you have this sewn piece here, you have your button, and then you have your, your belt loops. And then just go look at some jeans. I'm sure you have jeans and then your, your um, pockets. Then you're gonna have your wrinkle here or your, your sag here and your, your God, why, what, what is it with me and not remembering from second to second? Because my brain is always two steps ahead of thinking what I'm got want to do. This is one out of fold, but it's we press it together, which is um, I don't know. It's there. 
here. Have you ever? And you can take it all the way down, depending on how tight it is or what type of material you have. The thicker material, I think the less you will see. Uh, crease wise, yeah. The thinner, the more you can, you'll have more creases. But when you look at that, it doesn't look like jeans really. It looks like there's a lot of wrinkles in there, a lot of folds, a lot of compression. Compression, I think that's the word I was looking for. But yeah, you know, and if it's if it's if it's a lot, then actually take it off the pants and just bring it back in, and you can have another one here, depending on your type of material that you use or are are drawing. Now, do I need to ink that? I don't think so. Now, for the women, tight is tight, especially jeans. I would have it come in just a little bit or off just a little bit in the knee and then at the foot or at the ankle. Now, depends if they have the little capris on or usually it, it stops. It doesn't cover the shoe. So coming here, bring it in just a little and bring it out just a little tight. Keep it, keep that shape of the woman. And the same thing would go for her um, part. The part you have the that the women have that. I think they do have that. I have to research that because jeans are jeans. And then you have probably more tightness here because the jeans are tight. Keeping that curve, keeping that curve now. Bunch up here a little bit and then not too much wrinkle in the woman's because as I said, they're tight. Just a little bit for the knee and I, you know, I wouldn't even put folds down here. Same thing, but I believe women have this same zipper. Do they? I don't know. I'm going to check. All right. Yes, they do have that. I don't know why I'm thinking they didn't, but the, the woman's does not come down as far as the man's because there's no need to zip that. And as I said, you got to have that, that space. You got to have that wrinkle, not too many wrinkles, but I mean, the women's jeans are tight and then bring the knee in a little bit more. When I step, step back, stood back and I looked at it, it was out too much. Women basically wear like almost skin tight jeans nowadays, which is not a bad thing, but yeah. Not too many wrinkles and as I say around the thigh, they don't want to, you don't want to come out too much down here, but Around the, 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 the side, you have this, and then like that. Keep it as, I don't want to say keep it as tight to the leg as possible, but keep it as tight to the leg as possible, minus a couple key wrinkle spots. And then a woman's jeans are going to dip down because the woman's jeans dip down more. Versus the man's, and it's the same thing. You have that extra piece. You have your button, and then you have your um, belt loops, and this would be more of a more of the hip hugger type jeans. And then you have your shirt. Those are the belly button somewhere here, and then yeah, you, so yeah, yeah. And then the back is kind of the same thing. All right, women's jeans. Women's jeans. From the back, of course, this is a woman's jean. If you want to do the, the, the derriere for a woman, you want to curve it down. For the man, just kind of like straight, straight, because, you know, we flat butts. So, yeah, but you want to give the woman a nice rounded bottom. So you want to curve it around just a bit. Now, with woman's jeans from the back, you still have that, that, um, that line, that sewing. Then you have in the center, you have the belt stitch, belt stitch, you have the belt, what a belt hook, a couple more, and then, you know, whatever you, the product name is, whatever, but you don't worry about that when you're doing. So from here, you're going to have that, that um, 
sewing, that sewing, that, that piece that, that always goes on the side of your jeans. I don't know what it's called. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. Usually there, there's a, a, a lower one too for the jeans, especially for women, women's, women's. And then the pocket, you want to curve the pocket around the pocket. Why does that sound weird? Well, pocket, pocket, it is a pocket. So yeah, curve the pocket to give it, give it some shape. Don't have the pocket straight down like that. Curve it around that you know the woman has some shape to it. And if you want to put a point on it, you can. I think some have points. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't wear women's jeans. And then, you know, you don't want, just take some of that away. You don't have to have too much booty coming around because the jeans are, are um, a, a stiff material. So you don't want to have too much coming around. But what little you do, make sure you curve it out. And then, of course, the, um, this is going to come out. You want to have that, that um, come in, sucks around, come in, just a little bit of, um, bunched up material because the, the back is going to get more than the front. The back is going to have more wrinkles than the front or bunches than the front. Curve it around a little bit, come out here, out here, and then down, staying with the leg somewhat, and then cut it like that. And then maybe because it's curving in, you can have it come in a little bit like that. And as I say, this is going to be bunched up. Coming off the knee just a little. And coming in and out. And it depends on, you know, they have that same thing here on the side. So if you, if you turn a little bit, then you'll have, you'll see that. But if you don't, you won't. And then maybe, maybe I'll put a little wrinkle under there. But that takes away from the buttocks, the curve of the buttocks. So if you do kind of take it down a little bit, make it straight, but you don't, have to, you don't know, have to, but then when you're doing close-up of jeans, you have to have all those stitches, those sew stitches, however they go in the jeans. And then with the Wrangler or whoever has that little piece, I don't know if they all have that piece. I'm not a big jean wearer. I just kind of stopped wearing jeans after I got certain a, a certain age. Yeah, I just, you know, slacks, sweats if I'm running out real quick. But as far as jeans, I don't do jeans too much. So there you have for the women's, the back of the woman's jeans. You know, you want to, you could have some kind of curve or something. If you want to, you know, focus on the booty a little bit more, you can put a couple lines in there. If not, don't worry too much about it. And the cutoff point because the shoes are somewhere like this somewhere in there all right so let's get to the dresses so let's call this one quits I got hiccups I usually don't have hiccups one two got three three four dresses I don't think I probably just used two at the most so let's do some dresses now, the best thing to do is dress, with dresses <coughs> is find your reference because women have so many type dresses. What was I going to do? I was going to do slacks. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's just let's, let's go back real quick because I was going to do slacks. Jeans and then slacks and then something. Okay, so let's start out with the women. It's going to be very simple, very quick. Same thing, slacks, except they're not going to be tight like jeans so we're just going to come off the legs a little bit come down and just the same for the man you're going to have that um point come up very 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 little wrinkles because you're going to work you're trying to look good you're not going to be like wrinkled all up your boss will send you back home tell you stop by walmart and buy an iron all right again for the women you want to bring it down the pants depending on the type of the pants you want this to be more of a point and just a little 
on the crotch again. And I cannot erase this because this one's a photocopy. That, and you want to have this, you don't have that. You just have that one line and just check out, um, you know, your, your um, something, check it out. <laughs> and then you'll see sometimes a button, check out the different types of slacks and then your belt hooks, belt loops, belt loops, belt loops. But other than that, I say I can't erase this. I can't erase that. So it's just going to be just if you have your the crotch, it's just going to be just a little bit, and then your your legs coming down like that. And you're not going to have all of this because slacks are meant to be you know um, slacky. Slacks are meant to be with no creases, so you're just going to have this little bit of crotch, and then your pocket, if, if they have a pocket somewhere, and basically the line, your button, and then your, your hooks. Very stylish, very simple. Whereas the man's, and um, he's got big legs, so same thing for the man. And I'll, I'll do these in, in, in pin. Just bring it straight down. Touching the higher points right here, right here right here and sucking in these they stay in the, the pants won't suck in that again here it depends on the makeup of the, the pants we always have this i believe and hopefully i'm not drawing off i'm not really looking at the camera i'm drawing and the positioning of the camera above throws me off sometimes too because i pull my paper close little wrinkle here a little um, fold there and I, again I can't erase that so very little um, fold and then that and if it comes up the, the depleted ones that come up and then the pockets your button and your hook just pretty simple straight forward and if you're doing, you know, close up, of it, then you add more of your stitches, your stitching, and you can bring the legs in just a little bit more if you need, need be. Like instead of having it out, you can bring them in, taper them in a little bit so it won't be so much of a bell bottom type of, of, of pants. And that's basically it for slacks. You don't have a lot of stitch design because you're not really focusing on the design of the pants they just want you just want them to kind of be plain because you focus on your your coat and your tie and so forth and we're not doing that so same thing with the women's maybe that maybe not that much of a triangle Not so much of a gap as in jeans because these are really loose uh, or, or thinner, thinner material, and then you don't want to be all, all grabbing on your thighs and, you know, showing off to your coworkers and your boss get mad and send you home and, you know, tell you to rethink your uh, outfit. And then again, you know, all this is is subject to change. This part here is subject to change because. You don't, you know, the, the, depends on the style of your, your pants. Some pants might not have the belt hooks. Some might. And then I think the button for the woman's on the opposite side. I don't know. Let's just double it right there. There, there you go. So and then your, your feet come down and your shoes, however your shoes are. So 
that would have been flat. This would have been it would have came up and then turned into the heel, and then you would have put your thing there. But the center of your foot or the thing is going to be right here where that point is. Drawing women's heels, and the back same thing in the back is going to be more you you won't see that. And then I believe that there is it depends on the type of slacks that you have. I won't get into that one because I end up having to look up, you know, types of slacks. But you just want to have just a little bit. You don't have to have it coming all the way there. And I think I'm pretty sure all slacks have that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Women's, men's are different. No pockets. If you don't want any pockets, and then just a couple like that. And I really don't think that there is a line in the back. I really don't think so. But the big thing is, if you want pockets, you can have pockets. Don't have the, the booty all, you know, like, bam, just round, just sticking all out like that. So there's slacks that will work. All right, now let's get on to the women's fashion. Again, with women's fashion, wait a minute, did you see that whole thing? Let me just show you that whole thing. Three, two, one, enough. Women's fashions, and since I said tight, tight means tight. So what's going to happen is, give her a little more uh, lats right there, is whatever fashion you put on a woman, it's got to fit the curve unless you're doing like a long dress that comes down off of the, the curve. And that's on you as far as fashion. And I say this won't take long because I'm just going to make up some dresses, but it's basically just going to be tight around the, the character. So you're just going around where the body fits. Now with the, this, you would have maybe like that, like that, just that line there, maybe some curve there. And as I say, it all depends on what, what type of um, material, what type of design that you have um, clothes wise. So if I just did like a tight dress curving around, it's going to come in. This is going to be out. So it's going to kind of like curve around like that. Curve again around. So this would curve. It's going to curve in like that. And it's a tight dress. Legs. And then around. So you have that. You know, if you want to get some um, shadow for her stomach if she has a nice stomach like that you can do that but this is almost the same as doing like a skin tight kind of um kind of what uh clothes somewhat like that uh long dress as i say it's, it, it depends on you know what you're doing for the woman t-shirt let's say she's got the midriff jeans or just like workout pants Let's just say shorts, workout shorts. Then you know it's just going to be the same thing as her legs. The t-shirt, as I said, depending on the size of her breasts, you know, you just have that line under that, just one, one piece. Because you can have the material, depending on the material, you can have that the little hang down part. Depends on how tight it is. What material it is but we're not getting into the t-shirts we're just getting into tight fabric depends on what it is and then maybe like that the pull from there the shoulder I mean the stitch from where the shoulder is and then the stomach of course, if there's a stretch pants or whatever. It's just going to be the same tightness. Same shape following, same shape following the shape. Now, is this the original? No, that's, that's um, that. So, one more, and we will call it quits now. We did jeans, we did t-shirts, short dress, long dress. It's basically, it's just going to follow the women's, the woman's 
formula. She has like a long, long uh, type of uh, shirt. And then it's tight, but the whole thing was doing on tight, 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 um, tight clothes. Some kind of formal dress. And it's just going to hang down. After the hip, it's going to hang down there like that. Um, the shoulders curving around the breast. Maybe this is like some kind of good, like formal um, going out type of dress. Let me give her some jewelry. See some of the breasts there. Again, the only place that it would be wrinkled, how did I have this? It's like that, and it goes around the back. Is where the shoulder meets. So yeah, drawing women's stuff is, is pretty easy, but just find the fashion. And then since this comes in, we just do, you know, some lines like that, showing that it does come in if she has like um, thighs. We can do a couple lines to indicate where the thighs are, are, are um, coming out at. This goes around, of course, a little wrinkle here. Fashion magazines, just find your fashion magazines and then you'll be able to do women's stuff because it's on very tight stuff, it's not a lot of wrinkles where women is concerned. And I have no idea what we'll do with that one because you already know if it's tight, it's tight. It's not going to be wrinkled. You know where the wrinkles come from. And then here. And then, as I said, you can have the, the, the breast could be one line or it could come up above one and then go under another one. Your choice. And then it goes back, shadow, depending on the light source, blah, 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 shadow from the arm. If it's tight, you can still do your shadow from your like your rib cage I would break it up a little bit and I just have like one whole shadow piece to indicate yes yeah, she does have and then maybe depending on the turn maybe like one or two you know um, lines coming through it and it's still tight and it just it'll still work so if she had just Like that, but if it's the, depending on the color, if it's all black, you wouldn't see that. Uh, except these would be instead of being black, they would be white, and that's how you do that inverted stuff. So let's just let's just say this like that, and then uh, and this gotta have this. So these were black shorts, black pants, black whatever. Find my brush. Hit the B like this, leaving the white shadow. Where is it at? Which one is it? I don't know, but let's just use both of them. Now, if it goes all the way across the leg, keep it white.
Yeah, like that. You get the gist. Just finish coloring it, Brian. Since you're here, finish coloring it. Same thing here. I wouldn't put any wrinkles here. Maybe one here, a little thin one here. But you'd have to play with it and see how you wanted it. You don't want to go too many wrinkles though. for the knee. So there you have it. So if you were doing the shirt the same way, then it would be reversed. The, your lines would be reversed for uh, your wrinkles. And, yeah, and I keep calling them wrinkles, but yeah, we'll, we'll continue to call them wrinkles. Your lines would be reversed. Your black would be white and your white would be black. And when I first started to do that, I was so thrown off. I used to like uh, characters that had that type of coloring. I, I guess that's why I like black man, black, black. Black man, Batman, Black Bolt, and Snake Eyes because they were in black and it was like, how did they do that? It was just reverse color. So yeah, that is going to be it for the wrinkle things. And as I tell you, it took me, it took me like over a week, you know, to figure this out because I drew a little bit, it might be like 20 minutes, and I drew a little bit the next day, like 10 minutes or five minutes, and trying to figure out. So hopefully, hopefully you guys did learn something. If you did. And if you're a new subscriber, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I am doing more things. And see, I had a lot more. I was going to do, you know, more stuff for you guys. And I think I'll just do like one um, position and speed motion just to show you where the wrinkles go. An action position with clothes on just to show you where stuff goes. So, yeah, as I say, if you enjoyed this, definitely leave me a like. Get, getting it all together because my next book, I may put this in there. I do um, my next action pose position book. I've been leaving. I, and you'll see. You'll see. I'm rambling. You'll see what I'm saying. Because I've got my action pose position, the 360 book is done. I'm just waiting for them to put it up online to go live so that I can show you guys or sell to you guys and I've got my action pose position stuff in there as well so that you can, if you like it, you can go back to the, the channel and figure out how to draw it. So yeah, these were all the things I've done and then some more from the first, the first, the first video. Look, my desk is toe up, okay? It's toe up with just stuff. This is what I do for y'all. All this is what I do for y'all. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video because I want to straighten up my desk now. All right, I'll see you guys later. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I said I was going to do this. So let's do this, and we're going to do this in fast motion and maybe put a little bit of music to it so you don't guys have to, you don't guys, you don't have to wait so long. Here we go. Go.
the action pose position with the clothes on and the wrinkles. So that is basically everything I taught you what to do or what you should be doing. Now I could do things like add uh, shadows and so forth to like differentiate the pants from stuff. But I'm not going to do that because my, my phone battery is now down to like 15% power. And I don't want it to shut off on me while I'm, you know, teaching you guys. So that's going to be it for this lesson. That's truly going to be it for this lesson. And I will see you guys in the next lesson. And I want to thank the uh, person who asked me to do this. And, you know, you, 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 you really put it on me when you asked me to do that one. So this is it for this video, this lesson, this class. Yes, that's it. I already said everything. Thumbs up, like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell. So I'll see you guys in the next video later.